Muscle Cars, Guitars, Burnouts, and Memorabilia. Welcome to ClassicMuscleCars.com, the show that features top quality muscle cars from the 50s through the 70s and everything in between, including the coolest rock and roll collectibles you'll find in one place. So buckle up and check it out. The most ground-pounding, earth-chattering rock and roll machines around right here on ClassicMuscleCars.com with your hosts, Tony Begley and Jeremy Marks. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Monday Night Muscle Car Mania. Nope, stop, we're not doing that. Hello again, everybody, welcome to another edition of ClassicMuscleCars.com TV. Right, Jeremy? Exactly. Tonight, we have got a fantastic show ahead of you. You're going to enjoy this, so sit down, get a pop, get some popcorn, and have a great time, because one of the segments of the show that's coming up is at... A location of where, Jeremy? Where were we at? Yes, it was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For the next three shows, we're going to be showing you some of the featured cars that was at this collector car auction that I will tell you set world records. Not one, not two, but about 10 or 15. Unbelievable. I could not believe it. 27 years that I have been in business, I have never seen an onslaught of muscle cars cars that came to St. Charles like this. It made world history. And you know what? The three-day sale had total sales of $21 million. It was incredible. Next week, we're going to be talking to Dana Meekham personally, and we're going to ask him about that. He's going to give us some insight. And I will tell you folks that this market is about to change, and it's changing tremendously. With what happened over the weekend, when the word gets out all over the country and all over the world, it is going to change things again, just like we have seen things change every January when the Barrett Jackson auction airs on Speed Vision. It always changes our market. Well, Dana has come up and changed it now, and it's raised a level that is going to be unbelievable for some of the cars that are going to be coming up probably at the future auctions from here on out. The next thing that we're going to be doing tonight, Jeremy, we're featuring a beautiful 1970 340 Cuda gorgeous car and that car is also going to be doing a burnout right on rate this burnout and that's going to be rated against a 87 Buick Grand National correct Without further ado we're going to get tonight's show started and we're going to take a little bit of a break here but we got some great new advertisers that I think you're going to enjoy watching some of their commercials and also I want to thank our great friends at Northside Community Bank performance restorations in Mundelein award-winning custom car design restoration painting and build-ups. All performed here at Performance Restoration Shop and Collision Center by master craftsmen who provide the best in complete restoration and mechanical work. There's no need for the West Coast. It's all here. Performance Restorations in Mundelein. Call us at 847-566-7469 or visit us online. JJ Best Bank and Company is the first to offer classic car financing and is the largest lender of its type in the country. Classic, exotic, and muscle car enthusiasts and dealers recognize us as the leader in the muscle car financing industry. Offering long terms and low rates, financing is available for your classic car loan. Contact JJ Best for your dream car loan today. Call 800 USA 1965 or apply online. It's fast and free and will put you in your dream car in 10 minutes. Hello again, everybody. The next car that you selected to view on ClassicMuscleCars.com is another new arrival. Now this is a 1970 CUDA 346 pack custom modified show car. It's close to stock, but it's not stock, and I'm going to talk about some of those issues. But before I do, I want to make a couple of announcements. We had two cars last week we did. Jeremy was what, 72? The 72 Mustang Grande 351. Custom modified show car with a 351 race motor in it. Yes, no. Right? Yep. And we also did after that 87 Buick Grand National stock, a stocker. And it was hellacious burnout. Well, I'm going to tell you the results of that burnout contest from last week. Grand National won it hands down. So. The car did a great job, and now this week what we're going to do with this car is we're going to rate this car against the Buick Grand National. So watch the video, give us a rating, folks, and then the following week we'll come back out and we will announce 
the winner between the two from this week, the 70 Cuda 346 pack versus the stock 86, 87, I'm sorry, Buick Grand National. Northside Community Bank, providing our customers and the communities we serve with the very best in banking. We offer among the best deposit rates in the communities we serve, friendly, knowledgeable personal service, and the ability to professionally respond to our clients' needs. Northside Community Bank is large enough to meet the financial needs of business and small enough to deliver personal attention. Need an equity line of credit? Visit us to see how we can help. Northside Community Bank. Four locations to serve you in Gurney, Riverwoods, Mundelion, and Niles. Now, let's get back to this car. Let's talk about this car real quick. 1970 CUDA 346 pack. This is an H code car, which stands for 340. That's the way this car was built. 340 automatic car. Now it's got a six pack on it. It has a shaker hood. This is the aftermarket shaker, but it looks awesome on the car. Looks like the real thing, but it's not. It's the reproduction, but it looks really cool. This has got a built torque flight trans reverse manual valve body. Now you go going, Tony, what is that? What that is, is that it is a manual valve body that you have to shift number one, but the pattern's reverse. So instead of going one, two, three in the drive, you start on a drive, which is first and go first, second, and third. Reverse manual valve body pattern. Also on the back end, the gears in it, 430 gears, positive track with a four-wheel disc brake. So the car will stop on a dime. This car is lemon twist, black interior, beautiful condition. It has a full set of custom wheels on it. But there's things that I want to do that I can take this car from the awesome look that it has and I will make it an incredible car that will just absolutely flip everyone else out anywhere when they see this car. Now, some of those things that I want to mention that makes me happy is I want to take the grill on this car, which is black now. That's not correct. And this is the way that they did this car to get this look, but I'm changing it to more of a stock appearance. And I'm going to paint it Argent. Argent is the color of the shaker, if you see it up here. The grill is going to be that way. Also down here, the side gills, the rocker panels that are on here, the trim, which we call side gills. That's where you get the Cuda from. Okay, that's going to be Argent too. That's the way it should be. Now, the back of the car, it has no wing. It has a great look because it has a great rake and it has a good uh, set of wheels and tires on it that really fills out the wheel wells. It gives it that mus muscle car look. Now, we're going to go with a wing in the back. So that look on this car is going to be absolutely incredible. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this car and we're going to light it up. We're going to do a burnout so that you can rate it this week. You need to give out a call on this car at 847-526-5950. It's going to go out Monday morning. It's going to take us a couple of weeks to get the parts. And it should only take us a couple of weeks to get through with what we need to do. So, again, give out a call, 847-526-5950. The Cudas, the E-Bodies are the most popular cars in the market for collector cars and muscle cars today. This car is just absolutely awesome. Now, Tony just mentioned Ed. Ed works for ClassicMuscleCars.com, and Ed's the kind of guy that if you have a question, any kind of tactical question about a car, either he's got the answer for it or he knows where to get the answer for it. Now, we're going to have Ed talk to you a little bit about this 340 six-pack CUDA. And here he is, that master of information, Mr. Know-it-all. In 1967, Chrysler found themselves facing a challenge of trying to compete with High-performance Chevrolet small blocks that were highly rated. You had uh, 327s that had well over one horsepower per cubic inch. It was a very difficult task. They tried to compete with a 273 and a 318, neither of which had any chance. They tasked the engineers in 1968 to develop a platform that could be produced in A bodies and ultimately E bodies that would compete with a small block Chevrolet. This is what the engineers developed. 68, the 340 was introduced as a lightweight, thin wall, high revving design, and it turned out to be one of the most popular and best performing engines of the late 60s and early 70s. This car is an original 1970 340 Cuda. It's an H code, H in the VIN, and it's equipped with a 340, and this one has some unique features. It has a highly desirable shaker hood. Shaker hood? What's a shaker hood? Let's take a look at it. Let's get a little closer to this. The scoop itself was mounted to the engine rather than the hood. There's a hole in the hood. As the car idled, the shaker shook. That's why it was imposing. 
This 340 happens to be equipped with Chrysler's famous six pack. The six pack is three carburetors in line. Originally, this engine was built in 1968, 69, and 70 as a four barrel. It had had 625 CFM of induction, Carter AVS. This six pack is rated at 1200 CFM. Imagine 1200 cubic feet of air per minute being ingested by this 340 per minute if it needed it. This car is equipped with headers. Obviously, you're going to have that kind of flow. If, if a, if a 625 AVS was fed, this is a buffet. So you have to have a place for the air to go. This engine's equipped with a six pack set of hooker headers out the back through two and a half inch exhaust. If you, if you approach a stoplight and you see a car next to you that's identified as a 340, you have a worthy adversary. Well, thank you, Mr. Know-it-all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Northside Community Bank, providing our customers and the communities we serve with the very best in banking. We offer among the best deposit rates in the communities we serve, friendly, knowledgeable personal service, and the ability to professionally respond to our clients' needs. Northside Community Bank is large enough to meet the financial needs of business and small enough to deliver personal attention. Need an equity line of credit? Visit us to see how we can help. Northside Community Bank, four locations to serve you in Gurney, Riverwoods, Mundelion, and Niles. So Let's see what it's going to do, right, Jeremy? Light them up, Tony. Rate this burnout. Well, you've all been waiting for us, and now it's time for Rate This Burnout. Last week, the 1987 Buick Grand National smoked out its competition, the 1972 Mustang Grande 351 Custom Modified Show Car. This week, the Grand National goes up against the 1970 340 Six Pack Cuda. After the show, go to ClassicMuscleCars.com, click Enter, click on the showroom, and click on Rate This Burnout and rate this smoke and burnout for the Jeremy, that was a lot of fun. That's why I like to show up for work. I don't like pushing paperwork in the office. That's a part of the job that I absolutely despise and I hate it. But you know what? This makes it worthwhile to be able to come out here and have fun like this. Now, I want to tell everybody, don't try to do this at home, okay? This is something that takes years of practice to learn how to do, and it's something that is not safe. If you can look down here, Jeremy, and show them the pavement, show them the, the track line for the burnout with the rubber, you see how the car started to get away from me? If I didn't know what I was doing, I might have put this car into the one car that was over here in the parking lot, okay? So this is not an easy thing to do, and it's not something you should do around streets, around kids. It's something that should be done at the strip, absolutely. We do it here in our parking lot, but we make sure that the situation is safe. And I've been doing it for a long time, so I know what to do. But yet there's still things that come up that happens, even to somebody like myself who has been doing this for a long time that can still have problems with doing a burnout. You really have to be careful. Now, I want to emphasize something else, too. We're not out here just beating the daylights out of our cars. We've had some comments with some people, but 90% of the people understand it. If if you're looking for a muscle car and you're going to buy a muscle car, that's what these cars were all about in the day that they ruled the streets from the 60s to the early 70s. 
example, street racing, cars that were fast, cars that were capable of doing a burnout like this. Now let me tell you something. If you don't have top quality mechanical cars, mechanically, engine, trans, rear end, you can't do what I just did. This car is in that kind of condition. That's the kind of car you want to go out and buy. That's the kind of cars that we sell here. So it may look to some of you who don't know about muscle cars or about classic muscle cars that we're doing something that we shouldn't be doing, but these cars were built for that purpose and that purpose only is what I do and what I bring them out here to show you that they're capable of doing. So again, I just want to reemphasize that fact. If you have a good car that's been done completely mechanically, engine, trans, and rear end, this is what they will do. If you have a car that can't do that and it's supposed to have a high perf motor in it, then obviously it's got some issues. So we're always going to tell you the straight of it. We always have. Give that a call again on this car at 847-526-5950. I want to let you know today, too, we had a real strong wind last week. The wind was calm and it was blowing out toward the road. This week it's blowing out this way, so it was really tough because this car's got some big meat on it in order to get those tires heated up to let it smoke. Smoke. But we got it. We did it. It was excellent. Rate this burnout. Give us a rating, and next week we'll tell you what the results were. Here we are at the tail end of our uh, test track, and you can see the big wide track that I'm on here now, which is from the big meat that was on the back of the Cuda. And you look here, it starts, ske it starts skewing off to the left, heading towards the building there. And uh, there were other cars parked there at that point in time, but he had a, he had a fight to keep it under control. So it's not something you take lightly. Hey folks, wait till you see what we got coming up next. But now, a word from tonight's sponsor. Northside Community Bank, providing our customers and the communities we serve with the very best in banking. We offer among the best deposit rates in the communities we serve, friendly, knowledgeable personal service, and the ability to professionally respond to our clients' needs. Northside Community Bank is large enough to meet the financial needs of business and small enough to deliver personal attention. Need an equity line of credit? Visit us to see how we can help. Northside Community Bank, four locations to serve you in Gurney, Riverwoods, Mundelein, and Nyan. Folks, this is a real fun part of the show. Jeremy and I decided to go on the road and go to the 10th annual fall premiere of Dana Meekum's Selected Car Classic Car Collected Car Muscle Car Extravaganza in St. Charles, Illinois. And I tell you what, when you see some of these beautiful cars, you just won't believe it. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Some of the prices that were uh, brought at auction for some of these cars just blew me away. I just couldn't believe it. I've been doing this for 27 years and I just can't believe some of the prices on these cars. There was a 69 uh, Yanko there that we had sold for the last time in about a year and a half for 100000 A car brought 195000 at the auction over the weekend. Now you'll see the ring men here. They have monitors up to where you can watch the cars as they go through and the prices um, is put up as the cars are being bid. Um, these are all professionals. They are a great group of guys and they did a fantastic job over the weekend. Now that's a 69 Shelby GT500 convertible. That's a Mach 1. That's another Shelby GT500 69. Just a beautiful car that sold there this weekend. And uh, there was a lot of e-bodies that Jeremy's going to be showing you. Here's a 69 Boss 429. It was the first one that was delivered to the public. Here's a 302 Boss Mustang 70. And next to that is a 70 Challenger 426 Hemi RT. This is a 1970 AAR Cuda. Beautiful car, beautiful condition. Setting next to that is... Another 1970 Mustang uh, 302 Boss 302, beautiful car, yellow with black interior, shaker hood. That's a 1967 Corvette, white with a blue stinger, beautiful car, side pipes on it, just a gorgeous, gorgeous Corvette. There's the back, the uh, Boss 302, rear wing slats on it. Oh, window louvers. That's the back of the 70 AAR Cuda. There's the back of the Challenger RT Hemi car. And this is the Hertz Rena Racer 1966 Shelby that sold over that weekend for $145,000, Jeremy. There's another 
of that roadster there. So E-Bodies. E-Bodies did real well over the weekend. These cars sold for over 200000 Both of them sold. 426 Hemi Shaker cars. Here's another 70 uh, Cuda uh, 426 Hemi. Beautiful car. This one sold for $235,000. Next car up is a 69 427 Copo car. Uh, it's Olympic gold. Beautiful car. Beautifully restored. This car sold for $125,000. Rally Sport Z28. Another car that sold just absolutely beautiful. 70 Plymouth Superbird. I don't know what this car brought, but I do know that they had the Hemi Superbird there. Uh, one of the other cars that sold for $650,000. Don't forget those street rods. Uh, beautiful Ford Business Cooper. Parkside Community Bank. Providing our customers and the communities we serve with the very best in banking. We offer among the best deposit rates in the communities we serve. Friendly, knowledgeable personal service. And the ability to professionally respond to our clients' needs. Northside Community Bank is large enough to meet the financial needs of business and small enough to deliver personal attention. Need an equity line of credit? Visit us to see how we can help. Northside Community Bank. Four locations to serve you in Gurney, Riverwoods, Mundelein, and Niles. We're standing next to a very rare muscle card. Now this is a 1966 Cornette 426 Hemi four-door. From 1966 to 1971, they produced over 12,000 Hemi cars. This car is one of four built, four four-door cars built. Two of those cars went overseas, and there is two left in the, in the USA. One of them I'm standing next to, that's this one, and the other one is down in Don Garlett's Museum of Drag Racing in Florida. Now, this particular car just ran across the auction block a little bit earlier today. It brought an amazing $610,000 and the owner decided to turn it down. If you want to buy this beautiful car, you're going to have to pay $800,000. Now we're covering the sale today. It's a three-day sale. We've talked to Dana Meekham, one of the uh, owners of the auction company for Meekham Auctions, and he told me earlier today that yesterday's sales totaled $14.7 million. Friday, $1 million, and they expect to do over a million on on Sunday, the day that Jeremy and I are filming this. So, not too bad for three days. In 27 years that I've been in business, I've never seen a collection of muscle cars like this one that showed up here for the 10th annual Meekum Fall Classic here in Chicago in St. Charles, Illinois. Quite a showing of muscle here today. Let's take a closer look at this car. The Hemi four-door Cornette. It's not ours, we can't play with it, but at least I can walk around and show you what it is. The man turned down a $600,000 offer. Looking at the interior. Looks like it's a radio delete. In excellent condition. Yes, it's a Hemi. Inco replica. The Hemi car. 
JJ Best Bank and Company is the first to offer classic car financing and is the largest lender of its type in the country. Classic, exotic, and muscle car enthusiasts and dealers recognize us as the leader in the muscle car financing industry. Offering long terms and low rates, financing is available for your classic car loan. Contact JJ Best for your dream car loan today. Call 800 USA 1965 or apply online. It's fast and free and will put you in your dream car in 10 minutes. Performance Restorations in Mundelein. Award-winning custom car design. Restoration. Painting and build-ups. All performed here at Performance Restoration Shop and Collision Center by master craftsmen who provide the best in complete restoration and mechanical work. There's no need for the West Coast. It's all here. Performance Restorations in Mundelein. Call us at 847-566-7469 or visit us online. I know you've all been waiting for us, and now it's time for Rate This Burnout. Last week, the 1987 Buick Grand National smoked out its competition, the 1972 Mustang Grande 351 Custom Modified Show Car. This week, the Grand National goes up against the 1970 340 Six-Pack Cuda. After the show, go to ClassicMuscleCars.com, click Enter, click on the showroom, and click on Rate This Burnout and rate this smoke and burnout for the 1970 340 CUDA. I want to thank you for stopping by, dropping by with us tonight for a little bit of time. We hope you enjoyed tonight's show. We had a great time, huh, Jeremy? It was a blast. It was fantastic watching that auction going. Give me one, give me two, three thousand, four million dollars sold. It was unbelievable, right? Next week, we're going to be talking to Dana Meekum. We're going to be talking about some of the world records that were set, and you're going to be seeing next week a 69 Camaro ZL1 that brought $800,000. Unbelievable, man. It was awesome. But I, I'm really excited about it. We're going to have a great time. Next week also, we have a 1970 Chevelle SST, a one-of-one -one custom car that is incredible. And wait till you see this car light up the burnout, Jeremy. You filmed it from about three different angles, didn't you? We got a few shots on that. It's going to be awesome. So, you know, tell your friends, stop by and watch because we got a great show lined up for you next week. And I, again, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. I want to thank all of tonight's sponsors for helping us bring this show to you and tell all your friends to go to musclecarclub.com. Any technical information you want about muscle cars is there. It's incredible. It's an awesome website. You will love it. And you can even talk to some of the folks there because there's forum boards and you can talk with muscle car enthusiasts all over the world. Right, Jeremy? All over the planet. They'll talk to you. So again, we want to see you. Thank you very much, and have a great one. And remember, guys, keep cruising. .com is a NICAB production. Tiger. For more information Tiger. about the show and our business, log on to our website at www.classicmusclecars.com. <laughs> Soul. Thank you. Thank you very much.